Hello creators and welcome to Vectory. This is the second part of the tutorial series in which you learn about material settings in Vectory. In the first part, we have already covered working with basic materials. We recommend that you watch it before you deep dive with this one. Let's explore the possibilities and effects that you can find under advanced material settings. Here you can see property settings such as subsurface, refraction, thin film or clear coat. We will go through them one by one. First let's start with subsurface material properties. It is an important effect for achieving realistic texture. Subsurface materials are necessary for the rendering of materials such as marble, skin, leaves, wax, milk and a few others. It simulates light penetrating a surface of an object. If subsurface scattering is not implemented, the material may look unnatural, like plastic or metal. In this example, we will use the buttons at the front. Change the value of the subsurface to 100. Things start to change the closer it is to the 100. You can choose to do this with any color. It's important to point out that the light source plays a big part in the final look of the material. With the radius control, you can always adjust how deep the light will go into the object's surface. The second material property we want to explore is refraction. Refraction is a redirection of light that passes through an object. In reality you can observe this effect on objects made out of glass, acrylic glass or water. A refraction will also create transparency. Usually, it is either a value of 0 or 100. For best results, we recommend that you do not combine refraction with a subsurface. This parameter controls the IOR which stands for the index of refraction. IOR is the predefined number of light scattering. For example, diamond has 2.4, water has 1.3 and glass has 1.5 IOR. Thickness parameter defines the thickness of an object. For example, if you have a window with a 2 mm glass, set the thickness value to. Same principle can be used with a linear or a radial gradient. If your object thickness varies, try compensating with additional textures. To add color to the material lower the absorption. Click here to change its color. Next parameter to cover is the clear coat. You can usually find it on surfaces such as car paint. It is an extra layer of lacquer on top of the existing material. It can add extra depth and shine to the color. Modify the roughness separately from the roughness of the material in the basic settings to achieve interesting results. Next is the thin film that is sometimes referred to as iridescent material or pearlescent material. Iridescence is the effect when surfaces appear to gradually change color when the viewing angle or the angle of illumination changes. Examples of iridescence include soap bubbles, feathers or oily surfaces. We recommend using this effect on larger objects or complex surfaces to fully see the magical results. Adjust the value as needed, but the best results are usually under the value of 100. If you want to change the color, click on the color icon and adjust the gradient. The top color in the gradient represents the vector pointing towards the camera. The bottom value in the gradient represents the vector pointing outside of the camera.
The reflectivity of an object is measured by the reflectivity value. Most realistic materials use 100% reflectivity. Next settings shown are only usable with baked maps. Ambient occlusion controls the strength of ambient occlusion map. The light map adds light and shadows to the scene, contributing to a more realistic effect. It can only be used with the map. All textures in the material are bound to the first UV map, UV0, except ambient occlusion and light map. These two are bound to second UV map, UV1. That means that light information, shadow and light can have independent map from the already predefined map. You can upload it here. Double-sided material is commonly used for open geometry objects. See how it works? Be aware that enabling double-sided material also decreases the performance. The last material setting of this tutorial is the texture transformation. Its purpose is to tile the textures applied to objects all at once. There you can set the tiling, offset and rotation. Remember that any material setting you make can be easily transferred from object to object with a material picker next to the material name. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This scene is one of the free sample projects you can see when you open up Vectory Studio. Deconstruct it and use it as a sandbox to discover all of the possibilities.